Let's think about how we can define matrix addition. And math, math, mathematicians could have chosen any of, a, of an arbitrary number of ways to define addition, but they've picked a way to define addition that seems one to make sense, and it also has nice properties that allow us to do interesting things with matrices later on. So if you were one of these mathematicians who are first defining how matrices should be added, how would you define adding this first matrix over here to the second one? Well. The most common sense thing that might have jumped out at you, especially because these two matrices have the same dimensions, this is a two by three matrix, has two rows and three columns. This is also a two by three matrix, two rows and three columns, is to just add the corresponding entries. And if that was your intuition, then you had the same intuition as the, as the mathematical mainstream, that the addition of matrices should literally just be adding the corresponding entries. So in this situation, we add one plus five, to get the corresponding entry in the sum, which is six. You can add negative seven plus zero to get negative seven. You can add five plus three to get eight. You can add, and I'm running out of colors here, you could add zero plus 11 to get 11. You can add three to negative one to get two. And you could add, and you could add negative 10 plus 7 to get negative 3. And if you see this definition of matrix addition, you see that it actually does not matter in what order that we actually add these matrices. I could have done this the other way around. If I did this the other way around, let me copy and paste this. So if I were to add this matrix, so let me copy and let me paste it. If I were to add it this way, that matrix to, let me copy and paste the other one to this matrix, so copy and paste. If I were to go this way, you'll see that the order in which I'm adding the matrices does not matter. So this is just like adding numbers. A plus B is the same thing as B plus A. What we'll see is that this won't be true for every matrix operation that we study. In particular, this will not be true for matrix multiplication. But if you add these two things, using the definition we just came up with, adding corresponding terms, you'll get the exact same result. Up here we added one plus five and we got six. Here we'll add five plus one and we'll get six. We get the same result because one plus five is the same thing as five plus one. Here we had zero plus negative seven, you get negative seven. So you're gonna get the exact same thing as we got up here. So when you're adding matrices, if you were to call if you were to call this matrix right over here, matrix A, which we normally denote with a capital bolded letter, and you call this matrix right over here, matrix B, then we take the sum of A plus B, which is this thing right over here, and we see it's the exact same thing as B, as B plus, as matrix B plus matrix A. Now let me ask you an interesting question. What if I wanted to subtract matrices? So let's once again think about matrices that have the same dimensions. So let's say I'm gonna do have two two by two matrices. So let's say it's zero, one, three, two. And from that, I want to subtract negative one, negative one, three, zero, and five. So you might say, well, maybe we just subtract corresponding entries. And that indeed is how you can define matrix subtraction. In fact, you don't even have to define matrix subtraction. You can let this fall out of what we did with scalar multiplication and matrix addition. We could view this, same, this as the exact same thing as taking 0, 1, 3, 2, and to that we add negative 1, negative 1 times negative 1, 3, 0, 5. And if you work out the math, you're going to get the exact same result as just subtracting the corresponding terms. So this is going to be what is this going to be? Zero minus negative one is positive one. One minus three is negative two. Three minus zero is three. Two minus five is negative three. And you'll see that you get the exact same thing over here. When you multiply negative one times a negative one, you get a positive one. Positive one plus zero is one. Negative one times three is negative three. Plus one is negative two. Fair enough. There might be a question that is lingering in your brain now. Okay, Sal, I understand. When I'm add or, adding or subtracting matrices with the same dimensions, I just add or subtract the corresponding terms. But what happens when I have matrices with different dimensions? So for example, what about the scenario where I want to add the matrix 1, 0, 3, 5, 0, 1 to the matrix 
So this is a three by two matrix, and I want to add it to, let's say, a two by a two by two matrix. Five, seven, negative one, zero. What would we define this as? Well, it turns out that the mathematical mainstream does not define this. This is undefined. This is undefined. So we do not define matrix addition or matrix subtraction when the matrices have different dimensions. There didn't seem to be any reasonable way to do this that would actually be useful and logically consistent in some nice way.